Hey everyone, welcome to the Game Week 17 team selection video. Um, this will be the last team selection video before I do a Game Week 18 and 19 kind of put together thoughts video because I'm going to be away for a bit uh, on my honeymoon. So this is the last official team selection video for a couple of weeks before I do that joint video because I won't be able to shoot uh, for a little bit. So I apologize for that, but I just want to make you aware that that is going to be happening for when the next team selection video would normally be. Um, but yes, we have today's team selection video. I don't know why the jerseys aren't coming up. There we go. Um, but here is the team that we are lining up with. The plan currently is to roll the transfer. I like a lot of the players I have. I kind of like most of the fixtures. And I'd like to have some flexibility after this week uh, so I can make some transfers if I need to between positions so I can move that money around a little bit need be. Uh, but this is what we have right now. So starting in net, uh, keepers both have difficult fixtures this week. I'm going to go with Borussia. He has been playing more. Torati is playing Juve, so I don't even really want to back that fixture. And Juve generally has been the better team over the course of this season than Lazio. So Borussia gets the start this week. Um, on defense, we have Bremer, Buongiorno, Di Marco, and Di Lorenzo. Same back four as the last couple of weeks. Um, Juve is the team right now with the best upcoming fixtures. So if you don't have one of their defenders, probably consider doing it. Uh, I don't know if Keyes is the other UA player that I'd want the most right now. Not a bad option, and at least he did play well last week, hoping that he continues the form. Um, all of them have relatively decent fixtures that could see a clean sheet. The diff most difficult one is obviously Di Lorenzo, hoping that he finally returns maybe to that uh, attacking four, but he has not got a ton of attacking returns ever since I've had him from like game week three or four. Um, in the midfield, we have Ederson facing Bologna, which, by the way, like in the past, Bologna has not been seen as a very difficult fixture. This year, they definitely are. They're, I think, in fourth place in Serie A right now. So pretty crazy. But obviously, Ederson is just known for nicking that kind of goal that doesn't necessarily matter. Or late in the game, hopefully he can find one there. Berardi is coming off a game with two goals, but both off of pens. Facing Genoa, Genoa has been a scrappy team to face right now. Can be a captain option this week, um, but not my pick for it based on what my team is. Keys against Frosinone. I'm hoping that he gets some attack and returns in some sense this week as well. Up top, we're using all three strikers. Latour Martinez, Duven Zapata, and Xerxes against Atalanta. Again, not sure if Xerxes is going to produce. He is coming off a game where he did get two attack and returns in the Copa Italia, but hasn't in Serie A for a couple game weeks. So we'll see if that form from Copa Italia transitions over. Uh, Zapata against Udinese, coming off a game where he scored the only goal in the game, hoping he can keep that up. And the captaincy goes to Latoro Martinez, who did score a goal. And against Lecce, again, sometimes with Latoro, it's you know some people are going to be captaining him. You don't want to miss out on a big haul that he might get. Um, so not always the way you want to look at things, but I think this week it makes sense. Vice captaincies on Berardi. Nico Gonzalez does show that he's still injured with the flag. Colpani's on the bench against Fiorentina, and Sabelli's kind of just that kind of guy that's sitting at my last bench spot for most weeks. Obviously, there are some weeks that he could be beneficial, but I've been keeping him there. I, at 4.2, he's not someone that I feel bad sitting on the bench for. Uh, most of my money is on the starting eleven. And that's what makes the most sense to me right now. Um, some players that did catch fire kind of have kind of dropping off. Kopani hasn't got a whole bunch of points. He's kind of lost his form a little bit. Um, Xerxes hasn't really got a whole ton of, let's kind of see what's going on there. But he's kind of blanked. I guess he blanked against Roma, but did do well against Tornatana. So fair enough. Um, blanked the game week before that. So he's kind of been a little spotty recently. Although, yeah, the goals do keep coming for him. And he got two against Inter in the Copa Italia. So don't lose faith on him just on that one game. It's Roma because that was a hard fixture at the end of the day. Um, again, he does have a hard fixture this week too against Atalanta. So I wouldn't put him in the same category as Colpani yet because Colpani has really dried up if we look at 
his stats here. Nothing for the last four game weeks, assist or goal wise. So if you do, or if you are looking to get rid of someone, and a lot of people did have him, maybe someone to get rid of, um, and some players to look forward to look for right now. I would say our Juve players right now they do have the best fixtures coming up. Whether you want that to be Chiesa, Bremer, Gatti, or Vlaovic, I'd say those are all good options to be bringing to your squad. And if you're not looking for them, obviously, Xerxes, I'd still say worth is being brought in. Zapata's in good form. I'm sure most people have Lester Martinez, but Osimhen might be start making his way into other people's teams. We saw in the last review video someone who benefited from that. And Karatselia could also be a good option. So a couple different names there for you to look for. Other than that, this is my team. Good luck to you this week. Again, we'll have the review and then kind of like a double insight week um, before I'm going to miss doing a proper team selection for those two weeks. Um, but hopefully that'll help you. Anyway, take care and I'll see you after the game week.